Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Bryce Siebenthal, and I lead the technical marketing team for Autodesk Fusion. Today, I'm gonna start you off with a quick tip where you simply hit the S key on your keyboard no matter what workspace you're in. This is a fully customizable shortcut menu. Make sure to check out more quick tips on this. But if you can't find commands using the top navigation, you can simply search the command in the menu to find the center point circle in this case. Next, making relationships is one of the most important steps in fully defining your sketch. If you select two different sketch entities and right click, you will get a filtered list for relationships that make sense based on your selection. In this case, I'll make these vertical. From the team here working on Autodesk Fusion, we wish you a happy holidays. And don't forget, with Autodesk Fusion, you can make anything. Hi there, I'm Steve Hooper, and I lead Fusion's product development team here at Autodesk. Now I'd like to share a couple of my favorite tips with you. The first allows you to specify the center of rotation when you tumble a model. So if you hold down the shift key to orbit, you can specify the center for that rotation by holding the mouse pointer over a specific part of the model and pressing the middle mouse button. Fusion will then cast a ray from where the pointer is and where it intersects with the model, you'll see a green dot, which will become the new center of rotation. Now you can also do this from within the orbit command with a single left click of the mouse. My second tip is for T-spline modeling. Now if you want to add subdivisions instead of just moving a set of faces, you can select the faces, activate the edit form command, and then hold down the option key if you're on a Mac or the alt key if you're on a Windows machine while you drag the face. Fusion will then create extra subdivisions as part of that move. Now, from all of us here working on building Fusion at Autodesk, we want to thank you for being users of our technology and wish you happy holidays. I hope you can relax, spend time with your family, and maybe find a little time to design and make something. Hi, my name is James Kroniski, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at Autodesk. Here's a quick tip before you have to design a new part to fix that thing somebody already broke this holiday season. You can quickly access and navigate the menu behind your right mouse button by dragging the cursor in a certain direction. You can also keep dragging the cursor to navigate nested menus. For example, try to right click then drag in a check mark pattern to quickly navigate to sketch then upwards for circle. Mastering this will definitely speed up your designing. From the team working on Autodesk Fusion, we wish you a happy holidays. Hey, I'm Corinna. I'm a QA here at Autodesk for the Dave Model team. I'm going to show you how to slice a model when you're looking at a sketch. So I have here a model that's a little tricky to see on the interior. And say I wanted to create a sketch on this middle plane here. When I do that, I'm kind of stuck looking at the outside of my part. And if I wanted to just take a quick look on the interior and start sketching on the inside, I can click on slice over here in the sketch palette. And now I have a quick slice or a mini section analysis of my part while I'm in the middle of the sketch. And once I click finish sketch, that slice ends. Thanks for being a Fusion user and I hope everybody has a awesome holiday and a happy new year. Hi there, I'm Dan, and I'm a technical marketer. Here's a quick tip from me to you when using the manufacturing workspace. By selecting the control and T key together, I can attach the tool to the cursor. I use this all the time to do quick checks to see whether my tool assembly is going to collide when I'm trying to machine an area. From the Fusion family to yours, we hope you have a happy holiday. Hi, I'm Jason Lichtman, and I'm a senior technical specialist for Autodesk Fusion. For the holidays this year, I'd like to walk you through my favorite quick tip. This quick tip is all about being able to make multiple variations of your product to meet your customer's needs as quickly as possible. Rather than use the parameters table, where your comments merely serve as guidelines for what you can input, I recommend using configurations, and in particular, configuration themes to be able to limit options to what's actually available. In this case, I have housing length available between 40 inches all the way up to 100 inches in increments of five. And I could simply choose which option I want and have that appear instantly. 
If you want to make more complex changes, I can make multiple parameters be affected by the same theme. So when I change something like the housing inner diameter, it can affect more than just that inner diameter. In this particular case, I have seven different parameters that are all changing. Each of these parameters have different options, ranging from three options all the way up to 13 different options. But altogether, I have 101,088 different possible combinations. And all of these combinations are available to me at my fingertips in a single configuration. From the team working on Autodesk Fusion, we wish you a happy holidays. Don't forget, with Autodesk Fusion, you can make anything. Hey everyone, my name is Marty and I'm on the Autodesk Fusion product management team. So patterns are a really quick and effective way to quickly add toolpaths to other instances of a part or component. But did you know that in addition to circular and linear patterns, we also have something called a duplication pattern where you can pick a source point on the original part and then use that to pattern it to a target part. However, this doesn't account for part orientation. So this will work great if you're set up in um, something where all the parts are oriented the same, but the component pattern will automatically find and pattern your toolpaths to other instances of that component, uh, no matter the orientation. From all of us at Autodesk Fusion, happy holidays and happy new year. Oh, hi there. How's it going? As you know, we're part of Santa's helpers. I'm Edwin Robledo from the tech marketing family, bringing you the latest electronics content. Well, Chris K is out grabbing some peppermint maca. I thought I'll share some few quick tips with you to make your season merry and bright. Let's dive in. First, did you know you could set Fusion to launch directly into the electronic workspace? Head to the preferences, select general, and under start my Fusion in, choose electronics. Now, every time you fire up Fusion, you'll get ready to dive straight into the electronic designs. Speaking of designs, finding parts can be sometimes feel like hunting for the perfect Christmas tree. But don't worry, from the library manager, select library to preview its content. You'll see the symbol, the footprint, and even the 3D model if it's available. Once you find it, what you need, drag the parts into the design and it's easy as unwrapping a gift. 